The devastating events in Manchester this week are incomprehensible and heartbreaking. And I think I probably speak for a lot of you guys when I say that we've never been so affected by an attack like this, ever. This was an attack as well as on young children, mothers, families, friendship, free spirits, fun lovers, on teenage girls. This was an attack on teenage girls, so this video is about teenage girls. I believe in the power of the teenage girl. Show me another part of society where friendships and friendship circles make each other feel like they can do anything, like they're invincible when they're together, and like their support can lift each other above everything else that they're facing in day-to-day -day life. Look closely and you can find so much pure joy in teenage girls. They dish out compliments left, right and centre and celebrate and shout about each other's achievements like they're their own. They share each other's drinks without even asking. They nick each other's chips and it's just fine. They borrow each other's clothes when they're brand new, unworn, still with the tags on. They dish out tampons and bobbles to complete strangers. They spend their free periods giving each other back massages and new hairstyles and working on really difficult work together. Speaking from experience, they literally give each other really difficult, time-consuming answers to maths questions when their friends are shit at maths just because they would never want to see their friends fail. It goes without saying that they're there to talk even when they're completely exhausted. And it goes without saying that teenage girl friendships are for life, even if they do end up just being for a short amount of time. <laughs> Let's be honest, teenage girls are often labelled as bitchy too, and although maybe not so positive, it is equally as powerful a talent. Show me another part of society that have the power and the intelligence and the awareness to hit so specifically on one another's weakest points with absolute pure venom every single time. While that side of things definitely isn't so sweet, it's equally as important in proving the power of the teenage girl because that endless tenaciousness and toughness is an incredible defence mechanism when standing up for one another. But show me another part of society that could have that mindset and that power at their fingertips and not use it in a wider negative way. They keep it to themselves, amongst themselves, and then they better themselves every single time. It's no exaggeration to say that teenage girls dominate the world of social media. But that's not even the most impressive part. The impressive part is that they manage to hold a huge power within it while still managing to cope with the crushing pressures that social media places on them every single day. Entire industries revolve around them because their passions are so profitable. They're entirely responsible for keeping hundreds of thousands of money-making machines in business every single day, particularly, can I just say, YouTubers. If it wasn't for the power of teenage girls, none of this, YouTube itself would exist in the vast capacity that it does in 2017. It's their dedication and devotion and unbridled, unashamed excitement that is responsible for the YouTube phenomenon that we know today. The entire boy band phenomenon since like the 1950s, the high street fashion and beauty industry. Literally you name it if it's profitable and the teenage girl more than likely has the key to it sitting in her hands. Like, they literally control mainstream music. They pretty much control mainstream popular culture. Despite this power through profitability, teenage girls also somehow still manage to remain completely unaffected, unwavering and undefeated by the fact that society also, at the very same time, still insists on treating them like a joke. Their interests and their behaviours are so often condemned as vapid and stupid and a waste of time. Older people, and let's be real, men in particular, are consistently waiting in the wings ready to tear the teenage girl down, ready to crush any of her passions by calling them pointless and immature. For some reason, acknowledgement and approval of older men seems to equate to something becoming valid and worthy. I have no idea why, because most older men that I know have terrible taste in everything. Um, but anyway, as a result, the teenage girl is endlessly patronised. She's expected to cope with the pressures of adult life, and by the way, way more than her parents ever had to, thanks to the internet. 
but at the same time isn't actually respected as an adult. And yet, despite all that, whatever their fandom or their love, whether it's feminism on a level of Malala, whether it's writing an entire new genre of literature on a level of Mary Shelley, or whether it's literally just building Harry Styles up to pretty much a musical godlike status in the space of just a few years, they consistently voice that love unashamedly and completely. And it always results in something amazing. Their achievements are endless and completely awe-inspiring. When I was writing for a teen website called Sugarscape, every single day there'd be examples pouring into our inbox of teenage girls achieving something incredible. Some kind of demonstration for a good cause. It was always incredible, always completely off their own backs and always a huge success. Speaking of Harry Styles, he does actually get it. Um, and there's a quote from his Rolling Stone interview that I want to read because it's just so good. He told Rolling Stone, how can you say young girls don't get it? They're our future. Our future doctors, lawyers, mothers, presidents. They're kind of keeping the world going. Teenage girl fans, they don't lie. If they like you, they're there. They don't act too cool. They like you and they tell you, which is sick. Adults and guys might brand it as hysterical when they see the screaming and the tears, but I don't think any adults love anything, maybe aside from their own children, as much as teenage girls love these things. How amazing and powerful that the teenage girl can experience this much emotion within herself and keep it completely harnessed to herself without bursting. Oh, by the way, they also handle all of this shit judgment and dismissal while going through years of constantly changing, confused self-identity, body image, moods, sexuality, heartbreak, creepy ass misogynists, problem skin, exam pressure, and anything else that the world decides to chuck at them. Show me another part of society that could handle it, accept it, and get on with all of that. Going back to the Manchester events this week, if you've never been to a concert full of teenage girls, I can't begin to make you understand that feeling. As someone who grew up attending the Manchester Arena for pretty regular concerts, some of my happiest ever memories took place there. It's impossible for me to convey the shared electric atmosphere that manifests in that moment when the lights go up and all the screaming starts. It's fucking magical, I can't explain it. There are tens of thousands of girls in that crowd, and yet every single one of them has done their makeup flawlessly, spent ages on their hair, probably spent a good few days planning what they're gonna wear. The pure happiness of that concert is a shared, formative experience. It's a milestone for every teenage girl and it's palpable. And even better is the fact that every single girl in that audience feels like the most important and the most powerful person in that whole room because it's their night and it's their experience. And they're ready to be themselves for that couple of hours with absolutely no holds barred. Since when are adults ever brave enough to do that? Concerts are the perfect bubble representation of teenage girls, but it's not just concerts, it's part of everyday life. Look at teenage girls and they'll be the ones loving the most generously, laughing the hardest and the longest, crying the loudest, and living the largest. Teenage girls aren't weary of the world yet, they're endlessly enthusiastic, they're amazingly determined, and they live with an open-mindedness that most adults can only dream of. I felt like I couldn't not acknowledge this week's events, but it's just impossible to vocalise anything that could vaguely do justice of how it makes everybody feel. But what I will say is that teenage girls are everything that those responsible hate. Teenage girls stand for everything that they hate. Teenage girls are powerful, unbeatable, fervent forces who live their life to the fullest and appreciate the endless, unwavering joy that their most heartfelt, unashamed passions bring them. God help the world if teenage girls ever realise how truly amazing they are and what they're truly capable of. And trust me, this won't stop the power of the teenage girl. This video is dedicated to the victims of the Manchester attacks and all those affected by it. I love you guys and I'll see you soon with another video.